guys, we are here on the Unix Shop server, uh, the server that I created and I play with uh, friends. So, I'm right here with a jam seawall. I don't know what, there he is. Uh, and we, there's many things to do, but all I want to do now, uh, well, there's many things I have to show, but I'm not going to show it today. Or at least not this in this episode. We're going to be working on a mob trap. Another one. And for this one, we will need a crap ton of stuff. I already made the actual structure. <sighs> oh yeah, I totally forgot they don't stand. Or at least not in 64. Uh, This is sort of a design. Not exactly a design. By... Mumbo Jumbo, really cool guy. Um, so let's go check it out. Uh, it's right over there. I'll, I'll, I'll show you when I get there. There we go. But actually, that's not it. This is not it. We actually have to go much, much further. So <laughs> I'll be going up. It's gonna take forever. This goes all the way to 180, and if you check my coordinates on my raised minimap, uh, 370, that is pretty far away from where we are, about 300 blocks. Well, maybe a, a little less. But you see right here, uh, I have built two, uh, I've been, this is the second one, it's already built, we're gonna be building a third one, oh my god, we mix so many things. I just like mobs. That is probably my favorite part of the game, just the technical part of it. Mob spawning and stuff. Uh, the cave spider projects, those are cool. But, I don't know, I just fall in love in in Etho's old episodes, back in season 1. We, like, experiment so much with the mobs. Uh, uh, let's make sure it's on normal. Uh, the sad thing about this one is... This is uh, my design. Uh, maybe we can take a look inside it. Maybe. So, it's just these... Oh, can you see them? Six by seven... Oh, we have a creeper coming in. He's coming, right? This is actually the first... Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, stand back. Stand back. Haha. <laughs> uh, this is my design, sort of. It's like an old school uh, mob trap where it's using a lot of signs and this squarish thing. But they all go down this tunnel. And I've made a, a, a mob separator from a very. How did I take damage there? From a very old. This is a mob a separator where it separates spiders from. Two tall mob, two high block tall mobs thing, which is, uh, so it's really easy. It's just this diagonal thing, and you have we have a window in here. It goes that way, and if the mob's too, uh, too tall, it will go this way, and if it's, if it's too wide and, uh, and one high, it will go this way. It's really easy, and then they all just go into this lava thing. It kind of glitch out a little. Can't really help that. Bam, they burn. Let me get your goodies. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of gunpowder. I don't care about the rest. Maybe the arrows. This is not... Uh, the only bad thing is... Since I have to wait on the mobs... Like... Um, uh, also, this is the... Si Whoa. Hello, Mr. Spider. I'm not supposed to be up here. Uh, this is the same design I'm making on my Alpha series, so if you want to get into more detail, go check that out. God. Uh, uh, so, I'm gonna probably build like a roller coaster, sort of, not really a roller coaster, that goes above here, so the mobs follow me, and then they go that way. So, but the thing that we're gonna be working on today is uh over here actually let me uh, 
Let me take water. Some water. This is gonna be a drop style one, and it's gonna be a a force push a system. So, uh, there's a mechanism that pushes them into the into the drop trap. Uh, again, uh, this is my, not my design. We're gonna see if we can make any adjustments to it. But this one is more of a test mob trap where uh, we can do whatever we want with them. But the one that we're gonna be building is gonna be half test, half collection. But I am planning on making the ultimate collection one, which is a design by JL, I think. JL2579. I already have a spot that's about uh, 3,000 blocks away. Yeah. So, uh, it's gonna be a really good spot to make it. We're just sitting there for five minutes. Will give us a whole double chest of stuff. But I'll see when I get there. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. So this is sort of like you'll. See, oh man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn into peaceful because this is not. Dang it. Difficult. Yeah. There we go. Why is there this? Oh yeah, I think J JMC was fighting some mobs. But here's the inside. Whoa, that looks so awesome. I'm gonna F2 that. So yeah, it looks like we're in space. But there will be dispensers here. We're in, like behind the torches, and they will spill out water. Oh yeah, and let's. Oh my God, no! Forgot. To bring, oh jeez, I forgot to bring a uh, cobble. I'll be right back. Oh my God, doesn't this look awesome? Looks like we're in space. Other than that, but just looks like we're in a, in a, in a spacecraft or something in space. And it's like that long pipe that goes somewhere. We're just walking there, trying to get to the other spacecraft. This doesn't actually happen. They don't make ropes so going to the other ones, but looks cool. I've already taken pictures, so don't worry. I F2'd it up in this house. Look, we can't even see the water now. It's completely... No, no. Bam. 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 Okay, now it's the sunrise. See, not loading chunks is awesome. So, I asked on a video, what series do you want to watch? And, uh, I got... So far, I only uploaded it yesterday, but I got, um, Nunix Craft and Tutorials, so that's why I'm filming a Nunix Craft ep episode, and maybe I'll ask what tutorial you want to know. I mean, so, let's build a, a infinite water source. hi -ya. A ninja. Oh, okay. Okay. No, give. Oh, no, 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 no. No. You know, it takes forever to go from down there to up here. I mean, I can bridge up, but. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. So, actually, let's. Uh, place all the dispensers first, so I think I'll speed this up or something. Also, in case you're wondering, I will put the, the video in the description for uh, the actual episode where Mumbo Jumbo made this trap. Uh, I might even make a tutorial, but don't worry, I'm not gonna take credit from it. It will be in the title Tutorial uh, Efficient Mob Grinder Design by Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, and it will be like the first thing I say. This is not my design, just that the guy didn't make a tutorial for it. Uh, okay, back to speeding this up. I think I have something else to say, but who cares?
so I think every 20 seconds I have I have the design um on a creative world sort of uh, I'll show you so um let's actually go into into a world I have it right here uh so this is a hopper clock that every 20 seconds uh it will you'll see dispense out water okay well it's gonna take a while bam uh but let's spawn some creepers in just some because i mean it's not like there's gonna be tons of them around because if you put way too many of them they will like clog up well they're all running out but you see and then there's that line and they all get pushed out really easily and there will be like a drop hole in here and then bam it gets retracted again and more mobs can spawn i have to put this giant length just to give time for all of them to fall out but that's uh, That's the design, sort of. I'll take, you know, I didn't bring some stuff, but, uh, like the dispensers and, okay, uh, that's a lot of cobble. Uh, yeah, man, I'd never leave you. Okay, it's gonna be, a uh, pain getting, actually, I'll just, uh, I mean, that's a lot of call right there, man. I don't want to lose it all. So that's going to take a while. I'll speed it up, I guess, or just cut it. Okay, we got one side done. That's awesome. We will do a test run, hopefully, today. Uh, so now to the other side. Also, just in case you're wondering, this is a pretty crappy pick. It's not even mine. Uh, I borrowed it from jwc because he's a nice guy like that thank you very much man shout out to you that's gonna lag out <laughs> oh no oh man the cobble despawned no i knew i didn't trust myself should never have man at least i got some cobble left oh my god that's a bummer that's like, that was like a whole inventory full of cobble. Oh my god. I will never forgive myself. Yes. So I think I'll cut right here while I'm working on this. On making this. I'm just going to take some time to go get the, the cobble that I forgot. Because welcome to Nunix land. Right, so I'll cut it. Progress update. Uh, I've done all the strips thanks to uh, JMC2, and now I just have to put the redstone in. But that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join me next time where we will be hopefully finishing this. Adios.